Hello and welcome to another first here on Rory On Air. Right, Lizzie has never been in a helicopter before, which frankly is mind-boggling. But today I've waited so long to do this and I'm so excited for the first time ever to be taking my wife Lizzie in the Cadbury for a trip to Tur Western. As the belt squeals, which it all does. <laughs> One of the wonders of belt drive. Are you happy to go for your first ever helicopter flight? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. It's the 3rd of April 2021 and Covid rules now permit flying with members of your own household. I wouldn't have got through the commercial training course if it wasn't for Lizzie's support, patience and love, so it feels fantastic to finally be able to show her what I've been doing for the last 18 months. OK, tail clear your side, we'll just check to see what's happening. Bless the traffic, Kelly Centre 45, taking off runway 10, departing the zone to the east. So we accelerate forward. <laughs> There's 45 knots. <laughs> I know, it's good, isn't it? Really good. It's even better on your side because you haven't got your feet and your pedals in the way. Yeah, exactly. Now I have to concentrate on what I'm actually doing as well. That's the traffic. Heli Centre 4-5 departing the zone to the east-southeast and changing to Birmingham Radar on 123.980. Done. Have you tell what height you're flying at? So this is the altimeter oh, okay, here. Right. So I'm planning on going to about 1,800 feet, so we're almost there. Yeah. Which is not 1,800 feet above the ground, it's 1,800 feet above sea level. So as we get there, we just lower the nose slightly, and that will reduce our rate of climb, which we see on that knee. Okay. And then we want to cruise at about 80 knots, so about 82% is probably about right. Right. right I'm just going to call Birmingham, get a basic service. Birmingham Radar, good afternoon, Heli Centre 45, request basic service. Heli Centre 45, Radar, Cabri, 1034. QNH1034, Heli Centre 45 is a Cabri G2 helicopter from Leicester to Tur Western. We're currently five miles south of Leicester, altitude 1,900 feet on 1034, 2 POB VFR. Intended routing is uh, from Bruntingthorpe direct to Tur Western, request basic service. Basic service, Heli Centre 45. Simple as that. I can you hear what he's saying. Pretty scratchy, but it's because I know what he's... Yeah. yeah. But I don't think it was for me, somebody else transmitting there. Right. It sounded like he was in a blender. Heli Centre 45, your readability 3 at the moment. Heli Centre 45, that is an ETU you have that it does like the dog dock, half a mile south of the river. Looking for traffic, Heli Centre 45. Uh, visual with the traffic actually, uh, yeah, we got them, thank you. How are you feeling? Yeah, feeling fine. Good. Yeah, all good, just kind of taking it in really. It's a bit like, um, I mean, in some ways, it's very much like the small aircraft that we flew in before. Yeah. It's a bit twitchy, a bit rolly, that's fine. But I can see my feet, which is a bit, well, through my feet, which is a bit weird. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it's grand, I like it. It's all right. I, the, I'm getting used to the strobing at the, on top of the, because you're obviously so used to it now, you probably don't even think about it. Whereas yeah. I'm a bit like, trying not to look at it too much. It's making me feel a bit queasy. Yeah, so we just keep a good look out for gliders from Husbands Bosworth and any aircraft we can see. Yeah. Because um, although Birmingham helpfully told us about that Cessna, we're only getting a basic service, so it's not their job to tell us. 
Now we'll do another free that check fuel. We've got 103 litres radio. We're tuned in talking to Birmingham. We've got uh, Western radio in the box next. We're at 80 knots. And uh, Cat 1 leaving my area very imminently, so uh, small for Kirk on security. Radar to terminate and uh, free call on route. Uh, these are these green, no lights, no captions. Uh, on security and the line. To, uh, 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 driven transponder, happy with trim. Transponder runs 7,000. Connor's favourite word there. Conspicuity. Conspicuity. Yeah. I thought I was going to take the mick out of him for not being able to say it and then not being able to say it myself, which would be hilarious. Yeah. Loads of people can't say it or not say surprised. it in a weird way. Not, it's not an easy word. No. Why do they make it so difficult when flying's tricky anyway? <laughs> well, if you look for the CAA, you can ask them yourself. <laughs> so there are quite a lot of things to do. We're obviously trying to maintain altitude, trying to maintain heading, trying to maintain course and speed, keep a good look out for other traffic, speak on the radio, monitor the GPS. A lot of stuff to do. Think about passenger welfare and comfort, make sure you're happy and enjoying it. Are you enjoying it? Yeah. It's good, it's fun. Different, it's isn't it? Very different. I'm just a bit hungry, I think that's what, um, probably skewing it slightly. I'm fine, I'm just hungry. Well, no pressure on the Tur Western Cafe team to uh, come up trumps. I'm sure they'll be grand. Early centre 45 and our mile to the south of Daventry. Uh, we're going to change frequency to Tur Western Radio on 122.180. 1280. Early centre 45, Roger, my service, terminate, North Western. Bye bye. Many thanks, Early centre 45. Tur Western Radio, good afternoon. Early centre 45, request join. Heli Centre 45 joining for runway 09 over the left hand circuit, the QFE 1019er. QFE 1019er, left hand join for uh, runway 09. Uh, we're currently about uh, two miles to the south of Daventry VOR and we'll report uh, left base for runway 09. So we're going to get start, get a bit of a descent on. Cockpit is stowed, loose items are secure, we don't need the GPS anymore. We'll do a free dat check, fuel 98, radio with tuner talking, engine T's and P's are green, no lights, no caption, the eyes are lined, altimeter set QFE, we'll get a little bit of a descent on. Good lookout for other traffic, can't see anybody at the moment. Yeah. I've got a visual with one there. Where? Oh, yeah. Over the top of the... Uh, I see him. Heli Centre 4-5 is uh, left base for 0-9 visual with fixed wing head. Heli Centre 45, Roger, brake, brake and Echo Golf for the runways available. Nothing known to affect surface wind is northeasterly 10 knots. Okay, so cockpit uh, secure, door, door secured, your seatbelt's nice and tight. Yep. Basically, you can follow the power lines on the way in here. No other traffic visual. Nope. And Golf Echo Golf, you could find one of those uh, nice lighter green grass strips on the right hand side. Return via the grass, please. Return with the grass, Golf Echo Golf. Heli Centre 45, final for runway 09. Heli Centre 45, the hard available, nothing known to affect surface wind is 040 degrees, 10 knots. Landing Heli Centre 45. Okay, we've got a 200 feet a minute descent rate on, we've got 45 knots. feet a minute, 35 knots, that's a safe descent rate. They didn't quite put the right QFE in there, because it says we're minus. Heli Centre 4-5, where would you like us to park? Heli Centre 4-5, Roger, if you break right there and park on one of the pads. There are the two moan dumbbells on your left-ish. Roger. And runway vacated, Heli 745. Okay. Nice down, friction on. Good, excellent stuff. 
You okay? Yes. Too hot, too cold? <laughs> How was that for you then? It was good, I really enjoyed it. Good, excellent good stuff. Fun. Nice landing. Thank you. Better than the first one he did in the um, Eurostar. <laughs> that was more of a kind of... A rival. Bump. Yeah. Cool. Grand. Well, there we go. Ooh. Welcome to Tow Western. Thanks. Nice to be here. Nice to be anywhere, eh? <laughs> well, here we are at Tow Western with a very noisy Cessna behind us. Yeah. What do you think of that? It's good. Really enjoyed it. Good landing, what? good takeoff. Yeah, good piloting. Generally happy, then. Genuinely happy. What, what Lizzie really wants is some lunch, so yeah. we're going to go and get something yeah. to eat. Yeah, yeah. Nice looking cafe building, isn't it? Really nice. Oh, I can't wait to be down to wear this anymore. I thought it was you on the air, Robert. Hello. Hi, I watch our YouTube channel. Well. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm very good, I'm very good. How are you? Yeah, very good, very good. Hello there. Lizzie's first time in a helicopter today. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's to be on the, on the film now, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you might need orange and grapefruit lemon. And orange beans. Oh, that's a big bit of flapjack. <laughs> right then, Lizzie, how was Toe Western for you? Very good. Very nice food, nice cafe, nice people. Yeah, it's been good. Excellent. Good. Well, um, I mean, obviously it's... Uh, it's a bit cold. It is a bit cold and there's not a lot of action because uh, things haven't really started sort of getting going properly yet. Although, I think that's our new mates and their Cessna just setting off. We're having a chat with them in the cafe while we're waiting for our food. Um, <laughs> the guys in the uh, Light Aircraft Association office are like, who is this bloke pumping up holding a camera? Little do they know, hey? Eh? We've paid the landing fee, which is about £15, I think. Oh, bargain. Um, and oh, we, we need to do the documentation, which I need to fill in the heli centre documentation. Yeah. We do a little check of the aircraft again to make sure that all the oils and everything's looking good and then I'll call Heli Centre and let them know that we're departing to Western and heading back and I'll fill you in on our route plan when we get back in the aircraft because it's quite windy and I think my eyes might be watering a bit. What do you think I'm wearing my sunglasses when it's not so <laughs> <laughs> She's got a, she's pretty cleared up, haven't you? <laughs> yeah. Are you, are you walking home? Yeah. Yeah, I'm taking the heli. Yeah, you walk, yeah. Cool, that's good. All right. See you later. Oh, that's so cold in here. Morning lights are all out. Temperatures and pressures are all in the green, except oil temp, which is nearly getting there. We're a little bit lighter because we've burnt some fuel. I'm surprised that because we've um, eaten about three tonnes worth of cake. <laughs> uh, Carb heat is on auto, EPM alarm, we don't have any fuel, we've got 92 litres, rotor RPM is centre of the green arc more or less, slightly high there but it's on the governor, 36% with the pedals neutral, the land light's going to go on, the collective friction's coming off. Can't see anybody behind, can you see anybody behind your no, side? Nobody behind me. Okay. Okay, that's us in the hover. Morning lights are all out. We're pulling 90% there. Temperatures and pressures are just coming up into the green, so we'll just keep it as a low hover till we see 60 there, which we've now got. So we're okay now. So we tail clear my side. Nobody visual? Nope. Heli Centre 45, uh, we're ready for departure, so we're going to go from our present position off uh, in the runway 09 direction if there's nobody on final. Heli Centre 45, Roger, nothing known to take to departure, so if it's when it's 040 degrees, 10 knots. And departing to the east, many thanks, Heli Centre 45. Question, radio, November 214, Charlie Lima is in town from the north, request air for information. November 214, Charlie Lima joining for runway 09 over the left hand circuit. The QFE is 1018, QNH 1032. 
Uh, five miles to run, November 214, away. That farm that's just off on the right there, that's a, a marked noise abatement area, so we must avoid that. So we go for just sort of right hand edge of this forest and then just avoid overflying the farm. That's what the procedure says, which you probably saw in the toilet. I did see that in the toilet. I was washing my hands. A lot of airfields have these noise abatement areas. There's various ones around Leicester. There's some around Barton as well. They're, you know, they're all over the place. It's a common thing, and it's it's up to the pilots to make sure they're familiar with what's expected of them. Oh, okay. But generally, it's it's bad airmanship to overfly any building or built-up area if you don't absolutely have to. That's what I thought. So we'll come up to about 1,800 feet, and then we'll level off. We'll go past Silverstone on our way up to Northampton. Got cars on it. Oh yeah. So After departing to Weston, we head east northeast following the noise abatement procedure en route towards Silverstone Racing Circuit, where Lizzie noticed that there was some kind of racing action happening on the northern part of the course. We then continued north with a slight detour around Northampton so that Lizzie could take a look at her new place of work with the MND Association. She's been working from home since starting a new role in communications with them in February and has only visited the office once to pick up some computer equipment. Feeling good? Yeah, feeling fine. Good. Having a nice time. So go on then, how does the helicopter compare to the aeroplane? What do you like about this? What do you prefer about the aeroplane? Oh. How are you feeling about it? Um, what do I prefer about the, this thing? This is easy to get in and out of. Yeah, that's true. Um, it's nice to be able to see everything. It's a better view. Yeah, no wing in the way. No wing in the way and no propeller in the face either. Yeah. Although this is taking a bit of getting used to. It's a bit stroby. You know, I like it, it's fine. I don't, I don't feel, I feel safe. I don't feel worried or tense. Good. But I think because I was so used to the plane being a bit wobbly and a bit bouncy. Yeah. This actually feels quite stable to be honest. I wasn't really expecting it to be any less stable than the plane. Yeah. But um, yeah, it's, it's fine. Fun. Yeah. It's it's like it, it sort of chops through the turbulence to an extent. Yeah. Yeah. There hasn't been any of that kind of sudden drop no. you get in the, in the small plane, which uh. is always good fun. I think the other thing is is that we haven't we haven't explored its capability yet. You know, we've just gone to an airfield where there's a runway. Yeah, exactly. Um, and obviously one of the main advantages of the helicopter is uh, you know, being able to land in like, you know, my cousin Blaze's field or in the field next to your parents' house or yeah, exactly. whatever. Yeah. I'm sure if we ask nicely Dad might even mow an H into the into the grass. <laughs> <laughs> might take that a while, but it would be hilarious. It? Blue sky's trying to break through, isn't it? It's doing its best. Quite thick clouds though, which aren't really helpful. Yeah. The, um, the... I can see our house because I can see the big trees and I can yeah. see the goalposts. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, mate. Nice. Information all Langer is active. These are Langer active, go home. Another aircraft. Where is it? Um, nine o'clock. Yep. Uh, yes, I've got it. Well done. Just above the horizon. Yep. Good spot. It looks like it might be converging a bit, so we'll keep an eye on that. Right, I'm going to get on to uh, Leicester, so I'm going to come off these bids. Early centre 45, we're going to change frequency now to Leicester Radio 122.130. Early centre 45, Squawk Centre, we're going to change frequency now to Leicester Radio 122.130. many thanks, Early centre 45. Spotting Leicester Airfield is always <laughs> difficult. I know where it is, but it's always hard to spot. I think we'll come in the zone from the south and we'll just make a straight in for uh, runway 06. It's going to be about into wind. Leicester traffic, heli centre 4 5 is a Cadbury G2 helicopter about to three miles outside the zone to the south. We're going to enter the zone from the south to join straight in for runway 06. Heli centre 4 5 is a Cadbury G2 helicopter about to three miles outside the zone to the south. We're going to enter the zone from the south to join straight in for runway 06. 
Okay, pre-landing checks then. Fuel is 72 radio, we're tuned to talking to Leicester. Engine T's a piece of green, no captions, no lights. DI's aligned, altimeter's set to what we think is the QFE. Does that marry up? 975, yeah, it's about right. And trim and transponder I'm happy with. Give me that back. Yep. Don't need that anymore. I've thoroughly enjoyed having you as a passenger, Lizzie. Have you? Yeah, it's been great. Good. That's been fun. Thanks for taking me. Well, hopefully it's the first of many trips in the helicopter to Take interesting places. Yeah, that'll be great. I suspect we'll end up doing most of it in the 44. It's a bit quicker and a bit more comfortable and a bit easier, but uh, it's good to keep current in the Cabri. Yeah, exactly. And I think if you put me in the Cabri first and I was, I was happy about the 44, yeah, then you, rather than doing yeah, the other way exactly. around. <laughs> Leicester the traffic, Kelly Centre 45 entering the zone from the south to join straight in for runway 06 grass. Right, I don't think this aircraft's going out again, so we'll just park it on the pad. Well, look at you making it all the way to the end of the video. Thank you very much. You know what to do though, click the like button and let me know in the comments where you think I should take Lizzie next in the helicopter. Let's start with cafes, pubs and country houses that accept helicopters and are within about an hour or so of Leicester. I have to say, your landings on the helicopter are a lot better than your landings on the plane. <laughs> Well, I think that went quite well. Went very well. Great, thank you. And as you'll notice, it's my first time wearing Divi's helicopter. The weird feet wearing jeans. It's a bit weird, actually. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I think I'd have looked like a bit of a burke turn up at uh, Western with bars on Saturday. I would just called you. I would have there. called you my staff or something. <laughs> a pilot. Yeah. It's nice to know where our house deposit's gone. <laughs> Yeah, well, I love doing this. I really love it. I know you do. And one day you can buy me a horse. Yeah. Cool. And you didn't need this either, which is great. I didn't need that. But Tony Partakis gave me this when I did my lapel conversion, and I've put kept it, it in my knee board ever since. I, put it back I will. Yeah, yeah. Shut down. Shut down. Okay, so two minutes time, and we're just coming up to that now. Engine cooling engine has to be below 180 degrees centigrade and cylinder head, which it already is. So we're going to roll the throttle to idle. Do the clutch. Yeah, well there you go everybody, yeah. thank you very much for watching another edition of Rory on Air, particularly special one because it's the first time Lizzie's ever been in a helicopter, that cannot be overstressed. I thought you'd have bound to have been in one before. No, you, I've been telling you this for years Rory, it's very unlikely that somebody would have been in a helicopter. <laughs> well, anyway. Well there you go. Um, but thank you for being my first ever pilot. That's alright. In a helicopter. I can only think of at least 12 other people who would have been better qualified to <laughs> so Anyway, we made it back in one piece. Thank you very much for watching. I guess we'll see you on the next edition of Rory on Air. Cheerio!